Hello everybody, I'm Drumbalo Melchizedek and I'm the founder of the School of Remembering. And I used to be the founder of the Flower of Life that went all around the world with teachers everywhere for about 30 years. But we have learned so much in the last uh, few years that we have created a new school called the School of Remembering. And uh, to include the secret knowledge of the heart. Uh, this is something that is essential and uh, so we have just transformed everything on a global level. We've had requests from uh, around the world asking me to come onto YouTube and social media to uh, try to explain what the School of Remembering does, what it is, because people don't really know. And so that's why I'm here to explain this to you. Uh, the School of Remembering is a mystery school and it is using a very ancient knowledge uh, that has been uh, transmitted around the world in, in all kinds of traditions from Tibetan and Hindu to many uh, other schools that you would never know because they were secret uh, and they were hidden. This knowledge was uh, transmitted in, in ancient languages all around the world a long time ago. And as we approach more toward the, to the modern times, these schools are still going, they're just hidden. But they have a problem, and that is that they, and this is what I recognize myself, was that they are using ancient terms and ancient knowledge and ancient ways of perceiving to uh, try to get you to understand something that in modern terms, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And for this reason, uh, it takes about, on an average, 21 to 40 years to be able to understand and to master uh, this using these schools. Uh, so what I've done is spent most of my life studying these schools, going through each one of them. I went through over 70 of these schools, uh, trying to understand exactly how they saw things and how, and trying to translate that. And now uh, I, I, I understand what they're saying, but what I have done is translated it into modern understandings and modern concepts and ideas so, that the, so it flows and is understandable. And so instead of going 21 or 40 years uh, in the School of Remembering, you can get the same information in about four or five days. Uh, it, it really does make a difference. And, and this is important because we don't have 20 years or more to be able to study something at this point. Uh, from the very people who wrote those books and those understandings, uh, they know that we don't have very much time left uh, in the cycles before there's going to be very large transformations on Earth. And so uh, if you're going to use this kind of knowledge, you have to be able to learn it now not in, uh, in long periods of time. And so that is one of the biggest advantages that we have. It isn't that we have something brand new or different. It is the same thing that's being taught in Tibet and Hin Hinduism and elsewhere, except that it is applied into ways that are clear and easy to understand. We are now at a paramount moment in history, and I think almost everybody on Earth can feel this. Uh, you can feel the speed at which things are happening. You can see the chaos all around us. Uh, everybody feels the tension that is happening globally. It's not just one country, it's, it's the entire world. Uh, this was the Mayan prophecy, the Hopi prophecy, the Kogi prophecy, that uh, we're, this, is where we're, this is where we are and this is what this is about. So we have come to this moment in history when we as human beings must respond in a way different than uh, what, what we do in our normal everyday lives. We have to, because of the, of the situation that we're in. We have to, to know things that we don't know yet. Uh, we have to remember things that we have long forgotten. And, and we can do this, and you can do this, but uh, it requires a little bit of a catalyst, a little bit of help, and, and that's why we're here. And so, this is the reason why we created this school, was to, help ourselves and to help you and help the world uh, to understand and remember this ancient knowledge. So we created a class called Awakening the Illuminated Heart. And, uh, and this class uh, goes far beyond the Merkaba that we taught in the, in the, in the Flower of Life. Uh, this includes all the secret knowledge of the heart. This is the knowledge that was never written down. It was always an oral tradition. It was hidden, kept 
away from the public and everything else for thousands, actually tens of thousands of years. And, and now we need this. And, uh, and so this is the moment uh, when we must remember. And so this is the reason we created this school, was to serve you and the world and to, and to present this knowledge in a simple way that we can all, all understand. So for you, we have created a class that goes far beyond the Merkaba, that includes the secret knowledge of love and, uh, and this knowledge that has been hidden for so long and how that all fits into everything that we need to know. Uh, love is something that uh, I know that we all understand from a feeling body how important it is, but from another level, love is way more important than we normally think. It is what creates everything in the universe. It creates the very reality that we walk around in. And we need to know these things. We need to remember who we really are and what this is all about. And this is what this class brings you to. It brings you to the point where you know who you are and you remember uh, that love is the guiding light that makes everything come into balance. And so uh, without this love, the world is chaos. In fact, just imagine a world uh, like this one that has no love in it and look around you and look and see what it is. Look at, look at what you see all over this world that we are on right now. There is chaos and no love. And this is, uh, this is the result of not having that, that uh, very basic uh, uh, consciousness in what we are doing and as we're living our lives. And so it, it's really not an option. Uh, uh, without this love, we cannot ascend into higher consciousness and we cannot go uh, beyond where we are now. There is another thing uh, about this information. Now, sure, it is ascension information that we think will bring us into another world, but it's much more than that because it allows you to open up in ways to understand how things function and work. And you can apply that now, here, today, before you ascend. Uh, and in certain cases, it is not just something that we kind of need to know, but really, without it, it's going to be a big deal. For example, uh, we have a cosmic event taking place right now. It's called the geomag geomagnetic reversal. Uh, our governments are doing everything they can to make sure that you don't know about this. And, uh, but you really need to know about this. In fact, we are going to make a, a documentary movie on this very soon because it's so important. We're gonna focus all of our attention on it and to give you all this knowledge that you really need to know. But um, the, the, this geomag geomagnetic reversal is something that humankind knows nothing about except little tiny details that are picked up through geophysicists. But the human impact of what it means to us, we know nothing. How do I know that? Because the last time we've had a geo geomagnetic reversal was 780,000 years ago, according to science. So no living person has ever experienced this ever before. And, uh, and, but the information is coming in from England and the United States and Russia and various places. And we're beginning to discover that the, the weakening of the geomagnetic field is not just a little thing. It is, it is very is important for us to understand. Right now, there are over 35 major diseases that are being caused purely by, the, by this geomagnetic field becoming so weak. And science recognizes this and knows it, though no one's telling you about this. And so uh, if we uh, can uh, remember and we can, uh, un and we can begin to do something with our Merkaba and our heart that we have long forgotten, what that will do is it will recreate the uh, geomagnetic field around your body separate from the earth itself. And this will allow you to uh, survive what most people on Earth probably will not be able to survive. Uh, what uh, the Russians have found through the Mir space station uh, is that when they built the Mir, Mir space station, they uh, put a man on that station. 
And, uh, and for two weeks, everything was fine. He was uh, responding back and, and he was the only person on the station. But suddenly it all went quiet, no, nothing. And they didn't know what happened. And so the, as soon as they could, they, they went up to the station, put another person on and brought him back. And that's when they found out that his entire memory was erased and he had gone utterly crazy. He, is, he was dest detached from reality. Well, uh, they didn't understand it, they studied it. The last second person they put on there also, the same thing happened to them and they had to bring them, him down. And that's when in history you'll see the Mir station had a period of time with nobody in it because they, didn't, they couldn't run the station until they found out what it was. And what they discovered is, is that without the, the magnetic field of the earth passing through the body, we cannot maintain our memory. We're like a, a, a CD disc, which is magnetically put onto the disc. And if you put that over a magnet, it erases it. Well, the same way, very similar, our memory is held in place by the Earth's magnetic field. And so now that they know this, and, and this information was uh, put into the United Nations, and, was, and they discovered uh, after a, two or three years of studying these two people that came down, was that, they, uh, that it's incurable. There's nothing they can do. And, uh, but if you learn what you learn in this school, you will know how to turn on the personal uh, magnetic field of the body, which duplicates the Earth's magnetic field. And if this were to happen, which it looks like it's going to, um, you would not feel it at all. You wouldn't know anything. It would all seem normal to you, where other people would be having serious problems. So this is not part of ascension, but it is the part that we need to know because this is just one problem of which there are many approaching us and which the, if you have this knowledge, you can respond to anything that Mother Earth or the Father Son gives to us. We can, we can actually overcome all these things. We have this possibility, but only if you know certain understandings. So I hope this helps you and to understand uh, uh, what our school is about. We're, and, uh, and so if you want to go on to uh, junevelo.net uh, or on to uh, uh, the schoolofremembering.com, uh, you can enter into this uh, school and begin to study and understand who we are and what we're all about. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I hope that all of this uh, makes things a little bit clearer for you. Okay, I love you. Thank you.